Good morning. Welcome to the second day of LACNIC 41, the event that gathers the internet community of Latin America and the Caribbean. I'm Cesar Diaz and I am part of the staff of LACNIC and uh, I will be the master of ceremonies this morning. <laughs> Let me tell you a bit uh, what today is going to be like. We'll start with uh, the opening ceremony then we'll go on with a panel on the role of satellite internet in uh, the uh, uh, regional activity and how important it is to protect your access credentials and then we will have uh, the presentations of the uh, LACNIC technical forum before we start uh, with the opening ceremony let's remind you that uh, just as in uh, all of the sessions uh, in this uh, room, we'll have a simultaneous interpretation in Spanish, English, and Portuguese. For those of you who are following this online, you can access in uh, the uh, toolbar of the Zoom platform. Those of you in the room, uh, you can uh, go and get uh, your devices outside. So now let's start. Uh, I invite uh, Alejandro Guzman president of the board. Dear colleagues of uh, the Board of Directors, members of uh, the various sister organizations in the Internet community in Latin America and the Caribbean, uh, dear LACNIC members, uh, uh, participants uh, here and uh, remote and the rest of the Internet community, it's really a pleasure to be again here in Panama to celebrate our 41st uh, event. Uh, LACNIC 41. Ever since uh, LACNIC was created about 21 years ago, we've been conducting these itinerant events uh, where we try to reach different uh, parts of uh, the community of uh, Latin America and the Caribbean. So far, we have visited 24 cities in 16 countries in the region. And why do we uh, organize these itinerant uh, meetings in uh, this part of the region? Well, because uh, this that's the way we can uh, um, create links between the different uh, parties and uh, the people close to the meeting can come and per and benefit of all uh, the contents and the opportunities that are provided at one of these meetings and precisely the uh, trainings the talks uh, the forums and panels in addition to giving uh, an excellent opportunity for uh, for networking as a matter of fact many of the people that come here come precisely because they have a chance to meet the people and uh, uh, talk and discuss different ideas uh, and do uh, peering and catch uh, agreements and do business and share uh, possibilities for technical opportunities so there are many opportunities and many advantages for being present in this type of meetings it's really this is really an event that after 41 editions we have uh, been uh, in panama for f uh, this is a fourth event in uh, panama so we are in the very core of the region we are uh, in in uh, a place that uh, enables us to have participants from everywhere in the world and the region. The, uh, the LACNIC community has grown a lot in these 21 years. Uh, as a matter of fact, if we st stop and think, the first time that we organized a LACNIC meeting in Panama it was in 2009. Uh, by 2000, for in 2009, we had just, we had 300 participants at the event. 15 years ago. At that event, those of us who had an opportunity to, to be present, it was a much smaller event. Uh, the social event was in the Panama uh, Channel, and uh, we and uh, Ruben Blades uh, was there, or Ruben Blades, and he even sang a bit, although at the time he was the Minister of Tourism of Panama. And 15 years later, today, we have an event that is much, much larger. This morning, for this morning, 
we had 1,700 uh, people registered. So imagine this huge increase in the participants. We are no longer, we would no longer fit in the, um, in, in, uh, the channel for uh, um, uh, a social event. Uh, the number of uh, members of LACNIC has really grown from the 1,200 uh, uh, members we had in 2009. Now we have 12,700, so significant growth, 1,000% in these 15 years. Organizing events like this is not an easy task. Only those close to the organizations realize uh, uh, how hard it is to organize an event like this. There's a lot of logistics involved. The staff uh, uh, starts uh, many months uh, or even more than a year before uh, choosing the, um, um, uh, the, the venue and all the infrastructure needed, audio, video, remote connections, internet connections, so many things that uh, are um, needed. And it is very satisfactory to see how the community appreciates all those spaces because of the evolution of the quality of events or is always exceeds our expectations and always at the level of excellence. Another thing that we try to do in addition to the annual meeting, to the two annual meetings, we also have other spaces that make it possible for us uh, to strengthen the capacities in the region. For instance, we have the LACNIC campus that is a virtual education platform that has offers more than 14 courses. And this year, um, we have trained more than 8,000 people in the various courses. And those trainings make it possible for each and all those people that uh, learn in those courses may apply the knowledge in their organizations, operators, universities, uh, enterprises, in a range of aspects uh, that uh, strengthen uh, the technical expertise in the region. In addition, we, uh, we in the campus, we offer specialization lines. So people who got the, the basic uh, uh, training of a specific thing may uh, access more advanced courses until they can complete uh, uh, their training in different uh, subjects. So that is also something that is offered to the members and the community uh, as a whole. This year, we are celebrating the 20th uh, anniversary of the creation of FIDA. This um, is a regional fund for digital innovation, Latin America and the Caribbean. And we want to celebrate this special moment with the community. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, together with Arturo Servin, we will analyze the historical evolution of the technological milestones of this program, as well as the future of this program. What was Frida created for? Well, it was created about two decades ago to meet the technological innovation needs in our region. Let's uh, think of what Latin America was uh, uh, experiencing 20 years ago. So the, the uh, goal of uh, Frida was to give funds to the researchers, giving them funds uh, uh, so that they could conduct research. Uh, so having this program to help uh, uh, different areas of research was very valuable these 20 years. What else will we have this year? Well, some of the highlights of uh, the agenda of LACNIC 41. This, in this meeting, this is not just for LACNIC, but other organizations in the internet ecosystem. We have the LAC TLD meeting, the conference and the training of LAC C certs, the LACNOC meeting, LAC peering forum that uh, happened yesterday, and the CARIBNOC sessions. In addition, Friday, uh, May the 10th, as in the past, we will have uh, an opportunity to focus on uh, the host country, focusing in uh, uh, the internet in Panama the challenges and possible solutions of the current status and how to incorporate the best practices and standards in Panamanian uh, internet. And
as uh, was mentioned yesterday by Ernesto Mahon and Laura Kaplan at uh, the session of the new participants, these meetings are unique for the uh, opportunities for dialogue. So one of uh, the invitations to, to make the most of these spaces here in the room, we are listening to very interesting information. And uh, while at the coffee breaks or lunch and breakfast and social events, there are many opportunities to get to know many more people of the internet community, to exchange ideas and to establish contacts for whatever you may need. So it's important to make the most of those spaces. We invite you to go through the agenda and the content so that you can so you can uh, choose uh, the talks, the panels, and the various uh, aspects of this event that you may find interesting so as to make sure that you're not losing anything. You can also go to the LACNIC booth where you can ask questions about uh, several things about um, your relations with LACNIC and the organization. And you, we, you can access LACNIC Connector, a platform that allows you to contact other participants of the event. So if you're looking for a specific person that you'd like to talk to, you can um, find them there and uh, um, organize an appointment to discuss what you need. Really, I would like to share with you how happy we are and uh, at uh, the Board of Directors to see the results that the organization has had in the recent years. Uh, a meeting like this is increasingly challenging. However, last year, for instance, the satisfaction was 97%. That was the overall satisfaction survey that shows the level of excellence of these events. And we are very happy to see that in spite of the fact that the size of our events grow and the challenges grow and uh, post uh, COVID, um, several aspects such as the uh, poor connections of the airlines and uh, higher prices are challenging. Even so, we continue to hold uh, these events and the community response by responding uh, with more and more participants. This confirms that we are going the right way to continue to consolidate the processes contributing to the so that the organization may be increasingly professional and sound, uh, focusing on providing quality services and uh, providing value and continuing to strengthen the technical expertise in the region and um, to uh, continue to uh, uh, tailor to the internet community in Latin America and the Caribbean. So Panama is a country with very interesting characteristics, connecting Central America with Mesoamerica to uh, to see two oceans rather. And in addition, it's the center of the second uh, tropical jungle, the largest uh, tropical jungle, uh, 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 only second to the Amazonas. And um, the we have very technical issues like the submarine cables. It's a very special country, and we have the Panama Canal, one of the most outstanding constructions for humanity. More than one million uh, ships have uh, crossed uh, the Panama Canal since it was created. So, in addition to everything uh, in the event, uh, if you can, um, you can. There are four places recognized by UNESCO as a world uh, heritage. So that gives you an opportunity. So, and you can uh, uh, enjoy the food, the delicious uh, coffee of this country and buy handcrafts. So we invite you to continue to enjoy the rest of the week, making the most of it and uh, um, talking. And uh, um, we want you to all enjoy this event, LACNIC 41. Thank you, Alejandro. Before we um, close this opening session, we want to thank our sponsors that support us to organize this event. Hydrex, NECBR, Google, Ofinet, Edge One, the Authority of Governmental uh, AG, IP Broker, with one. No. IPv4 Global, Rapid Sitbox, ICANN, DHD, OC Global, Amazon Web Service, IPXO, Telsius, Spartle, AM6, 
IP architects enter the Internet Society. Pick one. Meta. Agar Telecom. Pit. Fundacion Mass Mobile, UTP, Technological University of Panama, NIC Panama, Syrian Technologies, Tim Kaimru, TNM Magazines, DPL News. Thank you. Thank you all. You know. Now, inauguration of LACNIC 41.